This was a first for Kate Muldoon, the regional director of the William Patterson University Small Business Development Center. I thought the session was extremely informative. I think that there are so many times that people are looking for this kind of information. Muldoon was in a room filled with counterparts and business owners at an advisory conference by Congressman Bill Pascrell. We've got to be able to help people to stay in the market and expand their possibilities in the market. That's the theme of sessions Pascrell has been holding since the late 90s. He sounds off on the impact of what Congress needs to do, has done, or has failed to do, such as a five or six year transportation bill. As deeply as I want this to happen, you're not gonna buy me off. The congressman bemoans the cut in funding for urban enterprise zones. If you wanna take government apart, and if you wanna dismantle it in the name of austerity and balancing the budget, then go ahead and we'll wind up where Greece is in a very short period of time. When asked about expanding gaming outside Atlantic City. So let's put it right here, right over here in the Meadowlands. We got a lot of the infrastructures already been done. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's small business administration. Oh, that's a good, sir. Thank In May, the congressman took the New Jersey SBA director on a Secaucus door-to-door -door meet and greet to let business owners know what the agency could do for them. The congressman says he's a big supporter of small businesses and always has been. The Small Business Administration says already in 2015, more small companies have borrowed money than in all of last year. When things start going bad, we tend to see it. And when things really start building up, we tend to see it. And we've seen a slow buildup over the last couple of years, and this year it's taken off. So I think that's a great sign. Only a few hands went up when Pascal asked who knows what the Import-Export Bank does and how it can help New Jersey businesses become exporters. The bank's charter is set to expire, and that's fine with some presidential candidates, but not the congressman. And that amounts to a unilateral dishonor in the international economic arena. The Chamber of Commerce says these sessions are good for business. People in New Jersey, especially business people, like to know that somebody is paying attention and somebody is concerned about their concerns. And I think the congressman is somebody that does that. And uh, I, my impression is people are going to walk away from this meeting very encouraged. Knowledge is power. The congressman says when you have information, the world opens up. In Lindhurst, Michael Hill, NJTV News.